what you need to know, not what you need to hear. As you know, I'm H.G. Tudor, and I'm a narcissistic psychopath. You may not want to hear that, but you certainly need to know it, as I give you fair and clear warning of what I am. Of course, in this space, you're perfectly safe, because you don't know me, and I don't know you. You are the listener, the viewer, the reader, the recipient of my unrivaled knowledge, which is provided to you as part of the creation of my legacy. And if you wish to understand more, as I'm often asked by people as to why are you doing this, listen to the video. Why am I doing this? I deliver to you the information that you need. I do so in clear terms, cold, hard logic. Mine is the brutal truth of the behaviour of the narcissist, the narcissistic perspective, the narcissistic dynamic. I understand myself. I understand my kind, the other narcissists, because I know the way that our minds work in varying ways. I also have observed, been amongst, manipulated my kind extensively throughout my life. I also understand your kind, the empathic victims, because, of course, I have manipulated so many in my real life, I have listened to, observed, watched, studied, analysed and targeted. And therefore, as a consequence of my very high level of cognitive function, my level of awareness, and the dedication that I have brought to the pursuit of my quarry, the studying of my victims, which includes, of course, narcissists also, as I manipulate them and utilise them for the prime aims in certain situations. All of this has created a vast repository of knowledge that I now share with you. Some people ask me, HG, are you not concerned that other narcissists will be annoyed with you for explaining the tricks of the trade, for example? The short answer to that is no. First of all, I don't care. I do what I want. But moreover, the vast majority of narcissists, being less from mid-range, don't know what they are. So they're not going to get angry with me because they don't see it as dobbing them in. And the greaters, they don't care. They're forging their own paths and they would not be spending their time listening to my work. They have no need to. And therefore, I am unconcerned because I am me about anybody becoming irate about my disclosure of this information. But moreover, none of them ever would. Because I am uniquely positioned as someone that can operate between two worlds, this gives me a huge advantage which you benefit from. I can convey this information to you without any detriment to my world because I am not disclosing this in my private life. I am disclosing it here, and none of you know who I am. Therefore, it doesn't impact upon my ability to manipulate those in my private life. Instead, I furnish you with the tools to become weaponized, and I provide you with the right, correct, and accurate information each and every time. What I don't do is pander to what you might want to hear. Why? I do not like that inaccuracy. I want to create a legacy which is founded on that accuracy, the correct information. There are far too many peddlers of misinformation about narcissism. This is done by individuals who are well-meaning, but they don't understand it. And all they do is regurgitate matters which they've read elsewhere, repeating information that is wrong, that is already out there, add their particular gloss on it, which adds nothing meaningful, and in certain instances operate with regard to a confirmation bias. They mean no harm, but they invariably cause it through the peddling of incorrect information. 
Then there are the even worse offenders. These are the proliferation of mid-range narcissists that exist, especially on YouTube, churning out material which they've stolen from elsewhere, they regurgitate other people's material, and, in so doing, through their grandiosity, they talk about their own experiences, ranting on about how hard done to they have been, how they are never going to be taken down by the narcissist ever again, how they're going to make the narcissist life misery, and churning out information which is inaccurate, misleading, and dangerous. This is done because they don't understand narcissism, because they're unaware narcissists. They think that they are some kind of avenging empath. Not only do they not understand it, it is tainted by their grandiosity, from the perspective of believing that they are an empath, believing that they are somehow empowered to be able to destroy and take down the narcissist. And for very clear and cogent reasons, which I repeatedly express in my videos, I demonstrate not only is this not something that can be achieved, it is not something that ought to be achieved. And I provide you with a cool, hard logic as to why that is. And this isn't born out of me as trying to make out that narcissists are some kind of impervious superheroes. Not at all. I have utter disdain for my brethren. Most lessers are superficial thickos who can't tell their asses from their elbows, apart from some upper lessers who are intelligent, but even then they're so vacuous and empty. And then the mid-rangers, as you now, the cowardly, walnut-balled, shriveled-up, testicled, namby-pamby crybabies, who are cowards, who don't discover, who don't pioneer, who don't get in your face and resolve matters. I have no time for them. I'm not here to make out that they are some kind of Goliath, some kind of Colossus. They often think that they are, but I owe them no loyalty, none whatsoever. But in trying to tell you that you ought not, that you can take them down, that is misleading, because ultimately the narcissist will succeed. The narcissist will succeed in asserting control over you, and... Because of the presence of the devil's pitchfork, any attempt to cause problems for the narcissist will rebound tenfold on you. And people who do not heed that message, some are affected and afflicted by high emotional thinking, but many of them who rebut what I tell you, rebut what I say that is founded on logic, do so because they're narcissists and what I explain offends their desire to assert control, although of course they do not know this. My channel is about giving you the information that you need to know. Correct, accurate, effective information. You may not like to hear it. It may irritate you that you feel helpless, but you're not, because my material gives you the tools to be effective. It might not be in the way that you would prefer, but understand this, the way that you prefer is only going to lead to problems for you, so forget about it. I am not going to tell you what you want to hear. I am not pandering to such misguided populism. I will succeed by the provision of the brutal truth and the accurate information. And I want you to join me in waging a war on the peddlers of misinformation, the purveyors of inaccuracy, and the idiots that are misleading individuals. And I want you, in the comments, to tell me about the material, the phrases, the observations, that are advanced by others which you recognize to be inaccurate and you want a Tudor takedown performed on them. For instance, the video which I produced about how to make the narcissist obsessed with you is an example of that. Many people will come to that thinking, oh, goody gumdrops, here's a way to get my own back on the narcissist and realize actually this material explains in very clear terms why you should not go about doing that. Find those titles, my good listeners. Find those titles which mislead. Find those titles which contravene the principle of Goso. Find those titles which you have found to be utter horseshit. Put them in the comments. Let me see them and I will tackle them. So that not only will you receive the accurate and helpful information, but then more and more videos can be created which will assist other people that you can share them, that you can put them in front of people, that you can compare them to the videos of the same name and point out, Tudor knows what he's talking about. Hysterical tirade does not. 
smooth amateur and doesn't realise that this information is wrong. Let me have those titles and your thoughts and observations, and I will act on them. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening. It's time to continue with what you need to know, not what you need to hear.